Hello and welcome to 30 Winchester. I'm just out front of the home here where one of the inner uh, units of the row of homes. Um, not far away from the last one we looked at. Not a lot of notes out here. Um, some of the window framing might be getting a little closer to end of the line. Uh, no, not that bad. There's one spot here, I guess, that I noticed that looked a little bit blown out. So whatever materials were on those windows are getting a little closer to end of life. For some reason there's some plastic up in the window, so I don't know if that was an indication of um, draftiness. Let's go inside. Now one unfortunate note about the home right away is that it smells very strongly of uh, cigarettes, people smoking. Um, it's not terrible upstairs for some reason, but down here it's very noticeable. We have a little powder room right off the door entry here. Um, doesn't appear to be a ton of like damage or anything to the walls, so I think that just a whole home paint would really go a long way of freshening this all up. Um, I mean, these do go for a good amount when they're more fixed up. This one just sold conditional down the road off for $385,000. So it's a big price difference. Um, nice big living room when you walk in here. Take note of behind that hutch, there is there was an opening, and for some reason that's been covered up with some ply. I guess they just wanted to close off the living room more. Let's go investigate the window from the inside here. Yeah, there's the plastic material over. For some reason, just those outside windows that I noticed, the middle one doesn't seem to be touched at all. But probably a note that that needs to be replaced soon. We are on a fuse box in here. It's another note as well. Um, nice big closet for tree there and uh, with the cigarette smoke sorry there's a, a lot of carpet in the home so it's gonna be a lot of flooring solutions probably needing a tend to before that smell goes away um, kitchen isn't as bad as I thought it's just really dirty um, I think paint could potentially revive revive these Maybe a bit more than paint, sanding and paint, but um, decent fridge. Uh, stove is pretty basic, but it seems to be totally functional. Didn't test all the burners and everything, but could be done. Um, the bit of a hum in here is coming from this water cooler of all things, but you're noticing that in the video and then this is where it was boarded off off the living room and there's sort of like a walk-in pantry kitchen extension type thing out here it's just extra storage for the most part head on to a deck that's Pretty close to the end of its life as well. Um, I don't know what standard you have to replace these at if you were to do it again. I noticed that the yards all seem to be a little bit different here. This one just goes out into open grass. The neighbor has a pretty quaint one. View of the house from the back here. The yard depth is probably like 40, 50 feet maybe. Eaves and everything appear to be fine for now. Got our AC solution in there. It's not even on and it doesn't feel that bad in the house at all. I'm not sure how much that gets used. Bit of, uh, mystery materials here. Kind of an odd spot for that. I don't know if it's actually functional. We do a little run around the basement here. 
So the basement, I would probably just write off as being any sort of finished. I don't see any problems down here. Um, someone's just using some like stick on tile on top of the cement. And they've kind of makeshift um, created a bedroom down here, living space altogether. Um, and there's that laundry that's not going to stay, but um, all the hookups and everything are here. So maybe there's a good deal to be found on those. And uh, the egress windows are also taped up. One appears to be broken here. See that? And there's one at the front here as well, all covered up. It appeared to be like actually boarded up or something at the front there. So I don't know what's going on with the window situation here. It must be a winter question. All of the wiring isn't super up to date. I don't think that's a it's just a piece of tape running across the top of them. Um, it is definitely copper. But uh, if you were to upgrade from the fuse box, I would ask an electrical professional if they would need to have all the wires pulled and replaced when you do that. I don't know off by hand. Um, the joist span is looking pretty decent though. Really beefy joists. I don't think the home is going anywhere anytime soon on the wonky front. Again, more carpet. Someone's been smoking down here too. So it will be a mission to get all of that smell out for sure. Will it be worth it? Yes. Front door area there looking. Pretty grubby as well. I think your paintbrush isn't going to have any rest on any part of this house. But bones, great. Bones are great. To the bathroom here, not vented. Um, I was surprised there was no signs of mold or anything in here. It's just these little streaks. The shower insert is not impressive in any way. That's probably something to be replaced to look at the cost of that. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the framing with windows again here. So we're at three egress, two of the front side windows and a bathroom window into the devil's lipstick bedroom. Not just a, a fungus, it's also a pink color. Um, all carpet again. So lots of notes on that with the smoke, finding it about. Um, there's a decent closet in here. Double door size. Seeming to be a candidate to be the master. A nice view at the back into the field there. Just all these scent catching things everywhere. Nice deep linen closet there. Definitely be more fun to work with than the nine division street that we went through the other weekend. Into the smallest bedroom. Decent size though, I think it's probably like nine by nine by eight at least. Um, all bed sizes should fit in here for sure. Windows are kind of hard to see with that curtain there. Some window framing has been kind of coming off and on. I think what they do is they 
pry the framing and then shove some plastic in there. Um, okay, into the next largest room here. For some reason, it's completely uh, blacked out. Maybe someone has some sleeping troubles or something. Just like a curtain all taped up in there. I kind of played around with it a little bit. The window seems fine, other than some loose window framing material. No door on the closet there, but nice big closet. And that is the whole home. Thank you very much for touring with me. And obviously any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.